Good morning. It's Tuesday and I'm starting this vlog video. I don't even know what. I just got out of the shower so I'm putting some stuff in my hair. Okay, let me start off by saying, um, I, I don't even know. I'm, I'm still pissed off, but this is part of the process, right? So, you know, I always show the highs. I pass my test, I pass my test, I pass my test. So now it's time to show a low, which is I failed my test. I failed my pediatric, my first exam in peds yesterday. And the whole class failed, by the way. The whole class failed. We all failed. There was like one girl who made it by like a point. Um, and good for her, but like, you know, I'm mad because I spent two weeks studying for an exam that was about growth and development from infants to adolescents and everything I studied was not on the test. So let's start there. So, oh gosh, I'm dropping stuff. So yeah, like I said, nothing I studied was on that test. And I know, and if you're in nursing school, you know um, that typically when you have PowerPoints, the test is going to be hard, right? The test is meant to be like NCLEX testing. So they word it weird, whatever, whatever. But it typically follows the stuff you learned that in um, for that exam. When I tell y'all nothing I studied on that test, I know all the milestones for infants. I know the drugs and substances that adolescents and sometimes even school aged children abuse. I know that when it comes to sexual health with a teenager, you're supposed to focus on healthy relationships and that sex is supposed to be pleasurable for both parties. It's supposed to be your consent. You're not supposed to be coerced into anything. Whenever you're talking about a toddler, what's supposed to cue you into developmental delays? When you're talking about an infant, what is cues you into developmental delays? Are they still crossing their eyes at seven months when they that was supposed to stop around four to six months? So, and all this stuff. None of that was on a test. So, um, I'm trying to get my, I'm trying to get these little curls popping, but they're not popping very well. I have failed a test before. Like with my program, they work on, they have um, anything less than 80 and a class is failing. So that's kind of how I do my test. I stick to 80s anytime I do my test or above. Now I have gotten 75s, 76s. Uh, I think he even got like a 73 once before back in fundamentals. Um, but it's compensatable, right? So if uh, I'd maybe, you know, get a couple more right on the exam after that, then um, I don't have to, you know, then I kind of am caught back up because my, uh, my program works on a point system. So say for lecture, you need 400 points for lecture. That's the most amount of points you can get. You need 80% of those points to get to pass, and that's 320. So, you know, we have to be very careful with our points and how many points we miss per exam, okay? And so it's always compensatable because I'm like, okay, I made this, I need this amount of points, and then I'm caught back up, and bada bang, bada boom, right? Well, now with peas, I feel like peas is about to be like mental health and I'm gonna have to basically teach myself. First of all, her lecturing style is more like discussion based. So it's not even like going over the slides. Like she'll, she'll uh, reference the slides every now and again. But, and I sometimes like discussion based classes, but when it's a new class, I feel like starting off directly with discussion based and always saying, well, you guys should know this. How am I supposed to know anything about peds if I've never dealt with anything with peds? That's what gets me every time. She's always like, you guys should know this. How? How should we know this? Because there's a few LPNs that work in a pediatric office. We are all supposed to know this. I don't understand. We have moved locations because I gotta start getting my bag ready. And I threw this scarf on because my hair was just not giving anything. Saying all of that to say, this is a part of the process, and now I'm just going to have to kind of pick myself back up where I left off and really focus on um, picking myself back up and really focusing and just kind of making up for that loss, I should say. Um, but yeah, so I'm just getting my stuff ready now. I am going to go to the library for... A few hours actually that's why I'm getting my stuff ready 
I am um, gonna just bring some extra kind of reference material to try to get through it. I need to grab my iPad and then I need to grab some coffee and I need to eat really quick. I need to eat something. I'm gonna grab my blue light blocking glasses because I need to. My eyes be hurting like a mother ever. Um, grab me a couple of snacks for the road. I'm probably gonna need my uh, charger. I'm probably gonna need my charger. Let's see what time is it? It's 9:25. They open up at 9:30, and I want to eat, so I'm probably gonna get started about 10. This is a part of the process. This is a part of the process, and I just have to deal with it. And I'm just gonna have to suck it up and do better the next time. And just, yeah, that's really that's really it. But I'm gonna make this oatmeal. And then we're going to make our way to the library so I can get some work done. Bada bang, bada boom. Let's go. Um, so I am in the car now. I'm about to eat. And then I'm making my way to the library right now. Making my way downtown. Walking fast. Faces passing. I'm homebound. That I figured out this thing. Camera situation. I could not figure out this camera thing. Let's see if it bumps. Nope, <laughs> this is cool. So I hope this looks good instead of using my phone. But I just cleaned my apartment because they're coming to spray for bugs and stuff. So that's what I was doing earlier. Um, and then I got ready. I made my breakfast and now I'm making my way to the library because I'm gonna be there all day. Oh, this oat feels good. I put peanut butter and pumpkin pie spice in it and it's really good. That whole drive here, the lighting was terrible. I don't know what was wrong with that, but whatever. Uh, but like I was saying, I love how my local library has the, um, they have those parking spots for new and expecting moms, but they also have the parking spot with the van. Talk about mother with kids. <laughs> But I'm about to go in there right now. Uh, we'll see. Well, no, not we'll see. I'm about to go in there right now, but I want to finish my oatmeal so I can set my timer on my phone for 30 minutes because I feel like this video has been all over the place and I'm so sorry. This is just a part of the, a part of the, part of it. This is a part of the journey and I need to show all the journey, not just the good part of the journey, but I need to show the parts that I'm annoyed with, the parts that may just seem a little bit all over the place, but I don't know. I'm just really upset about that test yesterday. Like, I studied my ass off for that. I really did. I studied my ass off for that. For two weeks. I know every freaking developmental milestone now. And I mean, that's a good thing, just in case, you know, especially for clinicals, because our, our peds clinicals start October, so just a couple weeks. But I'm irritated, because I've really studied for that. But whatever. I believe that all of your dreams are decorations. You took my heart, all my keys, and my patience. You took my heart, I'm a sleeve for decorations. You must take my love, I brought for you for foundation. All that I wanted from you was to give me something that I never had, something that you never seen, something that you never been. A few moments later. So I had just got started when. I got the call from my kid's school and my middle son is not feeling the best. All right, so I was gonna try to hook my camera up, but I don't know how I feel about it yet because the lighting I can never get right. 
But what I was saying was, um, I'm gonna go get my son because he was coughing pretty hard this morning. I feel like he just has a lot of drainage. I can hear it. And this morning I could tell he was trying to get it up. So um, I sent him to school because he didn't have a fever. You know, like I said, all, I think it's just a bunch of drainage. And it's that time of year and stuff. So, and he wound up getting it all up, but where it made him feel uncomfortable, I'm gonna go grab him. The school nurse called me. I was like, I would typically send him back to class, but maybe, you know, you could try again tomorrow and we'll see. And I was like, okay, you know, we'll see. So the joys of motherhood. So I'm gonna go get him and then go home and sit down at my desk and finish what I was doing which was going over, taking notes, all that fun stuff. So then I'd, um, they had a whiteboard in there just now. So actually everything works out for a reason because tomorrow I could just go in there and just hit that whiteboard and really get everything like out, especially since I'll by that point have re-listened to the lecture and got all my notes and everything. So I'm gonna do that, but today, I'll be obviously at home with my babes. I'm gonna go get my babes and go from there. And then, yeah, so that's how we go. Hi, I'm back home. I'm back home. Um, An hour in, I, my son's school nurse called me, which I already explained that, so I'm not gonna explain it again. Um, so yeah, we're home now. And now I'm about to get started. So I'm sitting on my stuff up now um, to get started with this. Because I was on a roll, y'all. An hour in, I was ready. I was ready. I was like, oh, yeah, this is what you do, y'all. Oh, yeah, this is what's not Oh, yeah, this is a sinus. Tacky. Sinus ready. But now I had to sinusly leave so I can sinusly pick up my son. Um, but, yeah, I'm just setting everything back up so I can... Um, I can do everything I need to get done. Just setting everything up that I would normally set up on my computer and everything so that I can um, get everything ready to go. I'm kind of just setting my desk up the way I always set it up to have my stuff. I always typically have my book out, um, my notabilities up on my iPad so I can take my notes while it's also up on here so I can listen to it. So I'm about to get started. So this is typically my setup. I'll have my uh, I'll have my notability on here, and then I'll have like internet up here, so I can pull it and um, copy and paste to my iPad right here, and then I have my book right here ready to go, and all that fun stuff. So it's a few days later uh, because this past week I just I had to recuperate um, after I failed my peds exam on Monday, which was pretty pretty terrible. Um, she did go back and like fix a few things because there was I mean we all failed like my whole class failed um but she did go back and fix a few things and it brought my grade up a little bit but it's not as bad as it was before um I think it brought my grade up uh, quite a few points actually because they're starting to kind of like incorporate some of the next gen and clicks whatever whatever so um it brought my grade up, but it's still under an 80, which is which is whatever, but at least there's leeway to come back from that. So um, I am very happy about that because I was, I was pissed, as y'all saw. I was so mad. I was so angry because I was like, it's going to take a couple perfect scores to come back from that. So luckily it's now it's not that bad. And then I took my... Um, med surge exam on friday and i passed that so and that one was tough but this next exam next friday is our ecg exam so we're going to get like 10 strips and we have to interpret them we got to figure out the rate the rhythm um and then we're going to have a few questions on the waveform and like all the components and the waves and what they represent intervals what they represent um, any, like, if there's any ST elevation or, um, ST depression, what that represents. So, we're gonna be going over that. And then, I think it's gonna, I mean, we still have a few more weeks of cardiac, but I think after the ECG exam, it's gonna, like, you know, 
kind of get back onto the train. I need to finish my Quizlet cards from the um, lecture yesterday. Now we're going over all of like the cor like coronary artery disease and stuff like that. So I need to finish my quiz of cards, take some notes and stuff like that. So I have a pretty good, um, <laughs> pretty good agenda to get done today. I got to do my two concept maps. They're due next week. Um, I already did them, but she, you know, went through them and corrected everything so I can get my full points. So I'm going to go through, fix that, fit, listen to my lecture, uh, take some notes, finish my quiz of cards for that chapter, and then... Then I'm going to be caught up on everything. I can just practice my ECG strips, practice what I know about the waveform, and then I'll go to my mom life group tomorrow, and then Monday's class. We start farm on Monday. I don't know why my kids are screaming, y'all. I'm sorry if y'all can't hear me over them, but we have farm class. We start farm on Monday, so that's going to add a whole nother layer of crap. So, um... So yeah, so I really have to get it, like I have to get my whole list done today because it's going to be busy. But I just wanted to end the video here because it's it's going to get a little quick, right? I hope you all have an amazing weekend. As you can tell, my babies are coming in here. I know, I know. And I shall see you guys in my next one. Bye.